Lindsay Amy Hennessy with UCCS Athletics, and I'm here with head softball coach, Coach Rickey. So, Coach, kind of a rough series against Colorado Christian. What do you think needs to be worked on most this week to prepare for the next series? Well, I mean, the first three games, we just really didn't have much offensive production going for us. So I think that's definitely our biggest focus. Uh, looking at the numbers of what we gave up defensively, it was pretty comparable to what CCU averages um, based off of their – team batting average and, and production numbers coming in so you know that that's kind of what I told the team after Saturday it's, it's not that we just let them take apart our pitching and defense it's just they did what they normally do on offense and we didn't do what we normally do on offense so that was the biggest you know the biggest factor for us and something that we've really got to focus on going into this week definitely and then do you think your team kind of learned anything from the series I do I mean I, I think that we, we sort of sat down and, and just came to the conclusion that ultimately we didn't compete on the offensive side. And you can write the story however you want, but at the end of the day, that's pretty much the bottom line of, of what happened. And I, I think once we sort of cleared the air and just said, look, we got to do that part better. Everything else is, is enough to be competitive, but we've got to be able to put the ball in play. We can't put zeros up on the board inning after inning and expect things to go well. And I think that conversation was a real turning point for our team to where they got to be a little bit more focused in, in terms of trying to handle somebody who was throwing off speed and up in the zone. They had their heads on right about how to focus and, and how to make, um, make contact that was going to really challenge their defense. So by the end of the series, we were, we were challenging from the offensive end. That's just something we've, we've got to do more consistently this week. Sounds good. And then in the second game on Sunday, you had Crenshaw, who, like, did awesome with pitching and then a couple other players that kind of stood out and you guys won that one four to three what do you think you guys did differently in that game compared to the rest well I think in that game kids were finally just settling in and realizing okay I've seen the pitchers we've seen everything they have I know I can hit this kid and and I think that's it, it really shows me how much of a mental grind the game is on on the players um, to, to see somebody and, and have to face them over and over and over again and not get the results you want can become really, really frustrating. So I think by the end of it, they had finally come to the conclusion, I'm good enough to hit this kid and, and we're going to put the ball in play and we're going to get people on base. And then we executed well. We got a couple people on. Uh, Alex Cook got the scoring started with the home run after uh, Missy's hit. So we scored a couple there. Then they came back and then we came back again, you know, starting an inning with a hit. Um, putting together a sack bunt that, that forced an error. And then, you know, we, we were kind of up against the wall in terms of needing to score to at least tie the game and have enough players to co put out on defense if, if we were to only tie the game. Um, but then, you know, Alex Cook comes up again and, and hits the sack fly. Uh, so, you know, our team can do that. We've, we've hit pretty much every week. This was a, a really low week for us in terms of production numbers, but – um, you know, I, I think they'll bounce back and be ready to, to go against Black Hills this week. Awesome. And then, like you said, you're going against Black Hills State this weekend. You're going up to, to Spearfish, South Dakota. You said the weather's going to be a little bit iffy, but just noticing that you guys have played more conference games than them, do you think that will provide kind of an advantage, you think? I mean, I would think so. We, we've played 10 more games than they have on, on the year. Um, we've gotten in most of our conference games, and, and they've dropped quite a few, and I think that being in the rhythm of, ha of having at-bats, regardless of the, the result of those at-bats, tends to make you a little bit calmer each time you get into the box. So, you know, I, I'm hopeful that, that that'll be a pattern for us going in and, and feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, but again, you know, we're going to have things with the weather to contend with, and, and hopefully we can get all that sorted out or the forecast will change. Uh, but we've proven ourselves to be a good cold-weather team this year. We've played in a lot of nasty weather, so – um, I, that, that part doesn't worry me. We're, we're used to having our hot hands and, you know, feet warmers and everything else in the dugout. So if it comes to that, we'll play in it and, and, you know, try to produce as best we can. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, good luck, Coach. Safe travels to South Dakota. Thank you. And go Mountain Lions.